Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. Presenting the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He would do so again. The moment he walked into AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proving ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the fuck goes scene went down. This is where it happens. It is lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. <laughs> Beautiful strike. Leg kick. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And they set. Nice punch by Nermago Metal. Single collar tie now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up. Now. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Just a slip there. A big leg kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Takedown defense holds up. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA. Gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early this season. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knee to the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, blocks the shot. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Nurmagomedov's got the tie clinch now. Oh, big punch land. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, hook to the head by Nurmagomedov. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Gets the elbow up into the target. Stuff the takedown, no problem. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on him. Over and over. These guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. is there once again. Strong work here by Nemago Meadow. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Final seconds of round one. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Sit down, catch your breath, slow it down, get some water, listen. Every 
All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, uh, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Dermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense. job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. And there comes the separation now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. That knee might have landed there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Takedown defense holds up. Able to check that kick as well. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the tight stand. Oh, that's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice loose of one. start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's in trouble. He's getting and now he lands a combination. Big knee to the body. Superman punch now. Marco Medov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Ooh, big shot man. Just out of range with that right hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tight. Oh, a combination of knees in the clinch. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He got him. Slips to avoid the run. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Battling for hooks. Stuff to take down, no problem. Big punch from the clinch. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Muay Thai plump. That was the nice tie. Oh. He's, he's hurt bad. What a fight so far. So that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights.
highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown. Game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. That was awesome, okay? Really hurt him there. You knocked him down, almost ripped him. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Medov's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard when you... Now Usher's up and he's out. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, has the guard closed here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspects of the fight. There's a song there, right? Like, no one to hold him. No one to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Oh, significant! Oh! He knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 47 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by no Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the Apple party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You think of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great hand.